Okay, you guys, it's another Bold and Beautiful mini spotlight, and I am with the queen of the Bold and the Beautiful. She has earned the title, she has been on there, and next week, it's all about Brooke, and I'm so excited on Bold and the Beautiful. My friend, Captain Kelly Lang. Hi, Captain Kelly. Hi, how are you? Uh, Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Um, so right now, you're at the store. So she has a store here, and so talk about that. Please talk about that. Right now, we're at Ben Hart in Beverly Hills. That's the store that we own, and we're open for appointments and for people to pick up locally curbside, and also around the whole world. People are ordering via FaceTime and and uh, we're doing Instagram Lives and we're showing them the product and they feel like they're a part of it and they can see more, you know, we're kind of handling this really personally so that we can, number one, also keep our store open, but also be able to show the people that what they want to see, what our customers want to see and, and firsthand. So it's been fun, actually. It's been <laughs> a new way of uh, selling and shopping and yes. we're having a good time. I love the ceiling. I love that scene. Yeah, is that amazing? It is. It's beautiful. I love it. Thank you. Oh, Thank oh, you. Right. Oh, so where, uh, where can they find the store? In person and online? Where can they find it? It's on uh, It's on Little Santa Monica, 9606. But you can also go to www.benhartusa.com for the online website and see what you like there. But then if you see something you like, you can shop up and buy it through online. Yeah. But you can also then call us at the store or DM us at Ben Hart USA, and we will be there to help you. We can show you everything while we're here. We can pick it up <laughs> and tell you everything about it. And how Those are cute. Those what are cute. it looks like. Is that cute? I love this yeah. shoe. That's cute. And, um, and people really love that. I try things on. Dom tries things on. <laughs> yeah, 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 and yeah. Uh, we give them a fashion show, and then they can really see what they're – buying because sometimes online it's hard to to really find what you want because yeah. you can't see it or feel it or touch yeah. it and smell it yeah. you know yeah. um but we do the best that we can oh very excited so folks you check them out please check them out please 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 the support and if they want to follow us on our instagram page because we you know they can see everything that's going on it's at ben Hart usa on instagram okay perfect all right now, you have your other job that you've been yeah. doing for a, a while, <clears throat> a little mm -hmm. while. Um, I was going to ask, <laughs> it's just a few years. You've done it for a few years. 33. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, but in seriousness, when you think about that, I mean, you're an actor. You get a job, maybe it lasts a season or two, you go about your business, but you have this, you've had this job for 33 years. What does that feel like? Um, it's amazing. I mean, I love that aspect of it. I love going to the same place. I love acting, first of all. I love the Bold and Beautiful. I love everybody there. It's like a family. And so it's kind of like a dream job. I get to do what I love to do every day. And I really miss it right now because by the time we go back, it's going to be about three months span of right. no B&B. &B. Right. So it's been hard for us. I mean, that's really what I want to be doing and, and yeah. it's great to be here in the store and doing this but I really want to be back on B&B and I guess they're trying to make sure that everything is perfectly safe and up to par by the time we go back so that nobody gets sick yeah. um so we're going to do it you know more careful maybe less yeah. cast less crew on the stage you know uh, yeah. definitely no kissing scenes or uh, sex yeah. scenes yep. <laughs> <laughs> unless they Unless they have a dummy in front of us and you see the back of that dummy's head with a wig, right? And we have our arms and swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. <laughs> who, knows, who knows what they're going to come up with? It should be fun. It should be interesting. Now, when I, because I, you know, they throw, they throw around the word soap royalty all the time. And I don't think it's always true for everybody. But for you, I really do think it is. I think you have done such a great job being a cheerleader for Bold and the Beautiful. And at taking everything they've given Brooke. You make it work, girl. You make it work. I mean, that's my job, right? I'm an actress. I'm supposed to take the script and then try to figure out, you know, what Brooke would do and also make it believable for me. Like, I need to justify it for myself. But it's been, she's a real person. And um, it, that's what's been exciting about her because she struggles between, like, doing good things and bad things but still i think she has a good heart and she means well 
But of course, in life, everybody makes mistakes. So she's a fun character to play. She's kind of walks the line, you know, and manages to stay there. Yeah. Keep it going. What yeah. is she? What is Brooke Logan? Dot, 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 dot. You know, all those last names. Forrester, uh, Forrester, Forrester, Forrester. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly just Forrester. Mostly Forrester. <laughs> Mostly Forrester. But you know, there's a lot of names in there. Um, yeah. Who is she in relation to Catherine Kelly Lang? Is she a sister, a twin, a best friend? Like, what is she to you at this point? Hmm, I, I feel like stumps. she's definitely a part of me, and she's like family. And I feel like I defend her, and I have to take care of her and protect her. <laughs> and... Um, not do her wrong you know do the best i can for her and i i just think she's probably like a sister definitely okay, okay. like that when did you what did you think when he said to you okay we're doing a brook week there's a lot to choose from clearly but they're doing a brook week what did you think i i was first of all i was very very honored i mean it was like a whole week of, <laughs> of course i'm not the only one in the show right no, right 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 no. But I mean, it's kind of the storylines based around Brooke. So I thought, oh, this is exciting. And so I'm really excited to see what they actually choose because I don't know exactly uh, which shows they're playing yet. Okay. Um, I've heard a few things, but i and I have some of my own ideas. You know, I really like this, this um, the shows when I, when Brooke took over, uh, she created Belief, but she yeah. also took over Forrester Creations the first time she became CEO. Um, some of the marriages, of course, in the beginning, like the first one to Ridge. Uh, yes. They might have already have shown that one, though. Maybe. I didn't watch one. Yeah. I think they might have shown that one. Um, oh, there's so many. Some of the fights with Susan Flannery. Oh, yes. my gosh. Because yes. She's pulled yes. a knife on me. She pulled a gun on me. She shot at me. She slapped me hundreds of times, and I've slapped her back. She swung, <laughs> a, she swung a lamp at me. I mean, she... I mean, I don't know. There's so many great, great fun scenes with her, too. Yes. I was going to ask you this very important question. It's a very important question, Kathy Kelly Lang. Okay. Is, <laughs> ready? Is Brooke the slut from the valley? <laughs> I, I, the title cracks me up. You know, oh, me I love too. it. It's hysterical. I think it's very funny. In fact, uh, Matt and Hanby, uh, a friend of ours, made yeah, a Matt. sweatshirt, the slut from the valley. And it's like my favorite sweatshirt. But um, she got the title yes. from Brooke's mother-in-law. Yes. And of course, she, <laughs> she kept that going for many, many, many years. Yes. I feel that Brooke is a, has been in her life is a very passionate person. She loves to be in love. She loves romance. She gets caught up in it and swept up in it. Uh, I don't feel like it's dirty or nasty or slutty, you know. I mean, some of the fans may think otherwise, and that's okay. That's their opinion. <laughs> but I feel that she gets caught up in life and yeah. in her passion and her feelings and in her love. And she loves to be in love. So I would personally would not say, here I am protecting my character. Yes, <laughs> I love it. I would not say she is the slut from the valley. I just would say she has enjoyed her life. Actually, I, I, agree, <laughs> no, I agree. No, actually, Catherine, I, believe, I agree with you. I feel like Brooke lives life. And so whoever she's with, she's really with. I mean, like, you really are. Like, you're, you're, yeah. she, she's with that person. She wants the best thing to happen. She wants everybody to be happy. And she goes in. I mean, I just feel like yeah. that's what Brooke does. I mean, nothing wrong with that, right? Right. I mean, you should. You should right. enjoy every single moment in your life. Yes, and, exactly, and exactly. With all of your heart. Yes. Mm -hmm. I find Brooke the most interesting, actually, when she's not with Forrester Man. Like, I'm a Brill fan. I am. Uh, I, okay. like, I like, I like, I should, I should like you with Nick. I thought you were great with Nick, too. Well, uh, because I think because of her history with Forrester Man, I think that almost brings her down, maybe. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And if she's with somebody that allows her to have her power, and that she has confidence in that, you know, then I think it shows more of Brooke and what she can be. And then she, when she becomes the businesswoman, and I mean, there's so many things that yeah. she can do and be besides sitting at home pining over a man. So, yeah. so I, I agree with you. Yeah, I like that a lot. But also, but here's the thing, you were a fierce mama this last couple of years too. I mean, like we saw, and I'm sure you, because you're online, I'm sure you've seen a lot of fans were liking that Brooke was like the voice of reason for a while. It was like, um, 
she sees what's going on with Thomas and she sees what's going on. With, like you see it all. You see Quinn, you see everything. It's like Brooke's not wrong. Like she's seeing everything. It's been so much fun to play for you. Must yeah, be. no, I love that because for so long they would try to, no, no, Brooke wouldn't fight back. Brooke wouldn't do that. She's too nice. Brooke wouldn't. And I, there were times when I'd be like, come on, come on. I need to yes. take this person down or I need yes. to. And they're like, no, Brooke wouldn't do that. She's, you know, taking the high road. <laughs> yes. And then when this happened, when the, the storyline with Annika and the baby, her yeah. baby and everything, I was able to to really play that. So I was so excited because, you know, especially as an actress, you want to, or actor, you want to show what you is, you know, kind of get all feisty. And so that was fun for me. And they allowed me to do that. And um, I think at some point they did say, okay, Brooke's had enough. Let's calm her down again. <laughs> so they, you know, kind of go, yes. you know, yes. up and down, but it's good. I was able to have fun with that. Is it Annika, because she's been on the show, and I love Annika on my show, and I love her. Isn't she a great find? Oh, my gosh, she's so I good. love Annika. She, I feel like she is one of my children. And <laughs> she calls me and asks me advice on different things, and she's this cutest, sweetest, sweetest girl, and so much fun to work with because she's, like, so in into the part, and she memorizes everything like crazy. Like, she's uh, really good. Okay. She's really, really fun, and she's... A what? A mass hole. Oh, mass hole. Because she's from, I never understood that term. Sorry, we, I hear something from yeah, the like gallery over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so she's just like, she's like just the best. Yeah. So I she love is. her. She is. And I have to say, we ha I've had Matthew Atkinson on the show too, and he is such a nice guy in real life. But like so good at playing the creepy Thomas. He's so, so good. So good at playing bad. <laughs> yeah, he is. And you know, I know he's wanted to steer away from that a little, but he can play if he keeps the innocence in there along with playing the bad, then you can kind of justify it. You know, then you feel sorry for him. And we do. There yeah. are times with that, you know, I watch him like, oh my gosh, I feel sorry for him. <laughs> because he's like seriously like crying and distraught yeah. and what? Yeah. Why is this happening to me? And then then he's that sinister kind of like he'll do anything to get what he wants kind of guy. So it's really interesting and he he has really good levels and he's a lot of fun to work with too. Um the Logan sisters, you guys really do and I know Heather Tom, I've had her on a show also, and, and Jennifer Garris, you guys. You seem like real sisters. I love the scenes when you guys are just talking sometimes. Those I do too. Definitely. I wish we had more of those because, and a lot of people like that and they write in, they say, you know, it makes me feel like I'm with my sisters to see you guys together and the bond that you have. And maybe you don't always agree on things, but you always listen to each other and you still support each other. So people really like that. It's kind of like a real, a real family relationship, I think. It seems, it seems like it. It does seem like it. Yeah. And then, of course, you got your old buddy. I mean, you guys are the two standing from the original John McCook. I mean, the amazing yeah. John McCook. Um, John I mean, McCook so, is an awesome. Yeah. So what's it like still working with him all these years? Your colleague, your friend? Your I wish I had more scenes with him. It's weird because sometimes we go for a long time without having any scenes together. And we're always on the set. We see each other. We're like, why are we working together? Why don't we have any scenes together? Why, you know, so I miss working with him. I, of course, see him all the time. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, I do miss the Brooke and, and Eric relationship. I mean, even when they're friends, you know. Yeah. Yes. There's always, so when you guys do get together on screen, there is like a comfort food thing that goes on for us. It's like, oh, yeah, they're Definitely. Yeah, I mean, we've been together for 33 years, you know, and on the show, he's so he's the father of, Rick and Bridget, sure. and we should have more interaction, actually, kind of because of that, but uh, you never know. We'll see. But Quinn's there now, so she keeps uh, us yes. smart. The amazing <laughs> you know, so. Quinn energy comes right between Woo. us. <laughs> I, I want to tell you, I want to tell you, Catherine, I'll tell you, that scene when you and Rena Silver go at it as your characters, that first scene when you put your finger face, to me, Emmy worthy scene. Emmy worthy, Emmy worthy. I was like, she matched you, you matched her actor. That scene was amazing. It's amazing. I just want to tell you it was amazing. It was good. Ooh, real life, folks. Real life. I love it. Real life.
Thanks, Jabby Boy. Uh, there's an ambulance. <laughs> yes, thank you to them. Yes, thank you to yeah. them. But um, it's fun working with Quinn because she just, she brings it, you know, she's just like, be ready because it's going to be feisty Quinn. And thank God for feisty Quinn because, you know, when she was just the good wife to Eric, you know, it was kind of like, we need, to, you got to stir the pot. We got to get some things going here. So it's fun that she, she came back out. The feisty Quinn came back out. Um, I mean, you've done, I mean, you've done so much on this show. It's kind of like, I mean, I don't even know if you can name it. Is there, is there anyone or anybody you like to work with on the show you haven't really worked with that much? I mean, you worked with everybody just about at this point, I think. I feel like there's nobody missing. I know. I feel like I've worked with everybody. I guess you have, basically, um, at this point. At least at this point. Yeah. I know. I can't even think <laughs> Yeah, right no, yes, you have. <laughs> I didn't think you have. Is there a storyline you'd like to see? If you, have, if you had a wish? That's a hard question for me to answer because... I feel like I've done so many storylines yeah. that I can't think. I mean, yeah. I, I feel for the writers because they have to do this every day and come up with new stories yeah. and, yeah. you know, different scenarios. And so, and it's hard because even when people ask me that, I'm like, I don't, I, I have no, no idea. Whatever they give me, whatever they give me, it's fine. Yeah. I, I don't know. And I just, I look forward to getting the scripts and opening them and seeing what's in there. Yeah, it's, that's exciting. Um, how do you, how do you uh, learn your lines these days? How are you learning them? Actually, I, Dominique is, uh, plays every other character in the script, and then... <laughs> I love it. I love it. Right, baby? Mm -hmm. and then she's like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he, um, he helps me, and sometimes I beg him, like, please, please, because when I try to do it myself, I tend to lose focus sometimes, or my mind wanders, I get up and I go to something else in the house, or... Yeah. So when he helps me, I, I can sit down really like, let's do this and we can focus and he helps me get through and he's good. Okay. He's a good actor because he, hey. he knows all the characters and he knows all the people. So he'll he'll use their voice and he'll use how they would do it. It's very cute. Very cute. I love it. I love it. I just yeah. want to ask you, I, I believe we had this discussion once before, but you're a horse person too, right? Like a question? Yes. Me too. I have ridden horses all my life. Me too. And I... Really? Yes, I love it. Me and Tracy Melkor were talking about horses on my show years ago. I bought, well, horses. I bought a horse from Tracy. Yes, yes. And he went on to be like a world champion. He was in the world championships, 100 mile horse race in the endurance racing. And I, because I sold him to my friend, I trained him up and got him ready. I did a lot of 50 mile races on him. Then I sold him to my friend and she took him to the world championships. Yeah. But um, so he was amazing. Tracy's amazing. I love yeah. all her horses. Yeah. And at one time I had five horses at once. That was a lot to handle. And yeah. now I've since I've sold all of my horses and I because I took up the uh, doing Ironman races with the swim bike run. Yeah. So I couldn't train for both. So uh, I, uh, I concentrated on just training. Because sometimes that's you're doing all three disciplines in one day, and that it took up a lot of time. I'd wake up at four, I'd go run to the studio, eighteen nine miles. I'd work as Brooke on Bold and Beautiful. I'd run home nine miles. I'd wow. go hop on my bike. I'd go to the pool. I was so wow. I couldn't do that much. Yeah. So when I did the Ironman World Championship in Kona, that's how much training I was doing. It was crazy. And it, since then I. I'm not doing as much Ironman races, and I would like to get back to the horses because that's always been my yeah. passion. I love horses. I don't know where it started. I was a kid. I had an aunt who had a farm here in LA. She had a farm for like in Lake Elsinore area, and she had horses and cat. I just I love horseback riding. I just for me, it's just this nice connection with this 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 animal of nature. I just they just they they move. Yeah, to they're beautiful. Field. Yeah, they're beautiful, and you have this unspoken you know relationship that. It's like you f hear them talking to you and you're talking to them, but with no words. I mean, it's really, truly amazing. It is. They feel your yeah. energy. They feel your yeah. energy and it's transferred. Like it's, it's just, they, I keep telling people, you have to calm down because they will know when you're, when you're nervous. The animals will know <laughs> oh, when you're yeah. nervous. <laughs> and you can't bully them into anything, you know, and they're too strong. You have to find that right connection where they respect you, you respect them. There's love between you. You know, it's like how people should be, right? Yes. But um, it's yes. interesting how you can learn a lot through your relationship with your animals and translate that into your relationship with humans. 
I agree. Uh, now I've done marathons. I've never done Ironman stuff, so I, I bow to you. Uh, marathon, well, still, enough. marathons are tough. You yeah, know, but get you. this. I didn't do, my first marathon I did was in the full Ironman. I never, ever did a marathon oh until goodness. I did the full Ironman. Oh, my <laughs> so goodness. So that was like, let me just take it all on at once. <laughs> oh my god okay well so then i mean let me ask this question so what did you learn what is one thing you learned about yourself when after you completed your first iron man was when you were like oh okay that you can do anything you set your mind to do right. i mean that the the quote that they always use is the iron man quote is anything is possible and i really really believe that you know after i i completed that race yeah. because and as long as you prepare for it and you yes. train for it and you know exactly what you're doing to get there and then you don't give up it's like don't give up anything is possible and you're a lot stronger mentally and physically than you even think you are i agree with that that's what i learned as i told you that's what i learned i'm I was like okay because i did my first marathon in my 40s and I, was, I did three of them and i was just like Oh, I guess I can do this. I did it. Okay, this is good. Okay, I did yeah. it. Yeah. And it's so and when times get hard, you say just suck it up because <laughs> you know you can get through stuff. You know what I mean? Like just do it. Yes, definitely. Thanks, Kathy Kelly Lang, for being on the show. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's so wonderful to talk to you. Stay safe and stay healthy. And and hopefully this will all be over soon and we'll get to see each other soon. Yes, in person. Everybody, so watch Bold and the Beautiful. It's, it's, it's Brooke Week. Brooke and all her, all people in her storylines. Brooke Week on Bold and the Beautiful on CBS. <laughs> And go ahead and, and go to, to Barnhart USA on IG and follow their shenanigans on there and see what they're talking about, what they're selling and what they're doing. So follow them there. Please follow them there. And everybody, have Thank a great day.